And we have a lot of flooding going on just to our south. The Miami Valley is in good shape right now, even with more rain heading into the region later on this evening. But Kentucky, that's not the case. You can see flash flood warnings stretched with training storms continuing to produce heavy rainfall across much of the area right there across the middle of Kentucky, across the state. We have flood warnings in place across southern Ohio and into Kentucky and even into West Virginia, as well as some river flooding going on into Indiana. Right now on our satellite radar imagery, here's what I'm talking about. You can see that heavy rain tracking just to the north of London, Kentucky, and moving into Charleston, West Virginia. This is where the heavy rain will continue to be. Flooding continues to be an issue for those areas just to our south. We are going to see this rain continue to push up to the north and northeast. As it does so, we'll see more rain in the Miami Valley as a cold front moves through later tonight. We're already starting to see some light showers right now on Live Doppler 2 HD. For the most part, the showers will remain uh, light to moderate as that front moves through. In terms of our river levels, these little dots are starting to show up yellow, but that just means near flood stage for some of our rivers, especially along the Great Miami River. We have such a high um, action stage uh, for the Great Miami, so we should be in good shape. Even through Sydney, uh, right now we're in that action stage. We're in good shape at Troy. Everyone will be uh, nearing flood stage along the Great Miami River, but even through Dayton, we're going to get up to 30.9 uh, feet by Monday evening, even when all this rain and all the smelting snow continues to funnel into the Great Miami. We are going to be nowhere near that 41 feet needed to flood, especially through downtown Dayton. A look at our weather checkers reporting uh, just over a half an inch through Dayton. Bill tells a row seven tenths of an inch in Beaver Creek and uh, around 7.74 inches there in Xenia. Uh, we're also looking at Barbara Richards and Kettering, six tenths of an inch. We're going to see a little bit more rain this evening. That's going to come as a cold front moves through really between nine and midnight. So looks like the prime time for some scattered rain showers. It's not going to be quite as widespread as earlier today. Additionally, our winds are going to pick up along this front. We'll see wind gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour as that front moves through and even behind the front as we head into tomorrow morning. So your wind chill tomorrow, that's going to be around 22 degrees as you're headed out the door. These are your actual temperatures quickly falling right there as that front is moving through. We'll be around 56 degrees at 9 o'clock, 45 at 11 o'clock. And then, yes, our lows will be back in the 30s for Monday morning. Here's a quick look at future track as the rain is moving through tonight. Notice scattered showers continuing, but then tapering off for the morning commute. We are going to be seeing some sunshine for the evening commute with partly cloudy skies. And then Tuesday, you're definitely going to want those sunglasses. 59 degrees right now on our Goodwill Auto Auction camera. 33 degrees, your low tonight in Dayton. 44 for the high tomorrow. So yes, it is going to be cooler, but hey, we've got a little bit more sunshine in store for you, and that's going to continue throughout the week ahead. It's going to be a drier week, a sunnier week, but a little bit cooler than we saw today. High temperature did reach 61 degrees in Dayton. We're not going to be there, but it will feel nice with all of that sunshine. Thank you, Carl.